hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing fantastic so today's video was inspired by a makeup i saw on Nicki minaj on her instagram page and i decided to recreate it for you guys to see so stay tuned to see how to achieve this look after this break so I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Original. I'm using my finger to apply this all over my eyelid. This is where I need this to help my eyeshadows to stay put all day long. Now I'm concealing my eye area because I kind of have dark eyes. And I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer NW40. I'm applying this with a brush. First of all, all over the space, both on my eyelid and underneath my eye. And then I'm going to be blending that out with the Beauty Blender to give me a smooth, even canvas. Now I'm using this yellowish looking eyeshadow from the Morphe Brushes Nature Glow Palette. And I'm placing that all over the concealer to set the concealer. Next, I'm taking this orangey color. I'm placing that slightly above my crease area and I'm blending that out to nothing. I'm trying to make sure everything is as subtle as it can be. So I'm going to blend, use very little products and blend them out to nothing. Now I'm taking this dark purple or dark brown, whichever you choose to call it. I'm creating a new crease for myself by applying it slightly above my crease and then I'm blending it out to a very subtle finish. Now I'm taking what's left on the brush and then placing that back over the whole blending to make sure everything looks flawless and subtle. Now the bulk or the main part of this um, look is the eyeliner and that's the Nicki Minaj signature wing. So I'm using the Inglot gel liner in Black 77 and I'm creating that wing that you guys know Nicki Minaj for. So basically this is most of what you have to do for the eye. This is very simple. You can go for an everyday look. And I'm also tight lining my eye by lining the upper part of my eyes as well as my inner eyes later on. I'm using my black mascara from MAC to and I'm applying that to my lashes before I use my red cherry lashes in number 43. Now I'm taking back another brown color and I'm going to be placing that slightly at the outer V of the new crease I created to kind of deepen that place and give it like a cut crease sort of look. And I'm going to blend that out. Remember I said I want everything to be as subtle as possible. So blend, blend, blend. And with that, we're pretty much done with the eye look for now. So to check out my foundation routine, because I didn't include that part please click here or check the description bar for the direct link to see how i do my foundation from start to finish so now back to the eyes i'm going to be taking my mascara i'm not going to be lining my eyes my inner my waterline rather because i noticed she didn't have that so all i did was just apply mascara to my lower lashes to open up my eyes and make them look bigger as you guys can see the difference now now i'm taking my favorite mask um not mascara favorite blush for now and this is the nars blush in Taj Mahal now I'm applying that to the apples of my cheek and now one of my favorite highlighters is MAC Oh Darling highlighter I'm applying this to the highest points of my cheekbones my nose my cupid's bow my forehead my chin everywhere I want to glow you guys know I like to glow so I'm applying that everywhere that I like to glow yeah yes honey look at that glow like look at that so I'm blending out everything. I don't want the highlighter to sit separately from the blush. So I'm using my powder brush to blend out everything. Now for the lipstick, I'm using something more of skin. Like, so I'm using the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy, which is a really, really subtle, gorgeous looking lipstick. And then I'm going to line my lips using the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil to kind of define my lips and not make it look plain and all of that. So I'm going to line my lips, then I'm going to use a brush to blend both the lip liner and the lipstick together to give me a sort of ombre effect and make the whole thing look beautiful. So I decided to apply more lipstick to blend everything together and make it gorgeous. And with that, this look is complete. 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you're yet to see the video on how i achieved this hair then please click the link at the end of this video or check the description bar for the direct link to the video also please remember to subscribe to my channel please remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and please remember to share this video with everyone and anyone that you think would love it i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye